What's going on guys, it's James. Uh, today I wanted to revisit the Virtue Bio. More specifically, uh, World Cup 2014's new releases for the Bio, their, their new innovations and fixes for the Bio. Um, we'll start off with this. This was probably the biggest release from Virtue this year at, at Cup. Uh, this is the new bottom, the extend bottom. Um, I'm thoroughly impressed with this thing. I, I, this was severely missing from the, the marketplace. Uh, just a, a bigger bottom for bigger players on a modular mass system. I don't know why no one ever thought of it in the first place, but it's a great, great idea. Um, I believe this retailed for 50 bucks. Um, there's only 50 of these in the country right now. When I was at Cup, I only saw them in three different bottom colors. Uh, black, white, and gray. I saw each one with a different top color, but they only had them in those three for now. Um, the other thing, they were all two-tone. There were no three-tone extended bottoms. This one's white and black. Um, from the way they made it sound, it didn't sound like they were going to ever make these in three-tone, but I could be wrong. Just, it's the first 50 they ever made. I don't know what the future holds for these, but as they stand right now, it's a great, great product. It's pretty much exactly the same as the original bottom. Flexible bottom half. The snaps that connect to the soft ears. Still has it. Um, these have a lower jawline. They extend lower on your jawline. Um, just the overall appearance of them is much different. It's much, much different than the original. Here's the original right here. See what I mean? It's got like almost like abs in the middle on your face. <laughs> and these scallops on the end. This one's just very straight, flat. Came out really, really nice. Uh, it comes further away from your face than the originals. Here's the original. These actually come further off your face a little bit. It lets you just get more fresh air, breathe a little easier through these. Um, again, similar materials to the originals. The same materials as the originals. Uh, just a lower jawline. Uh, Again, it comes off your face a little bit more. That's pretty much it. It's just a fuller, fuller face than the original. I'll show you the height difference between the two. Let me line up the plastic, the stiffer parts. All right, I'll show you on the inside. Move that out of the way. Okay. So, holding the, the mounting pieces together, you can see how much more material is across, let me get the nose as well. You can see how much more material they added right at the jaw. Jeez, why is this so difficult to get? Okay, check it out. That's all added material at the jaw. So maybe, oh, maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more right at the jaw, all the way around. Probably a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. If I hold this flat like this, you can really see it. That's all added material. Just a great idea. Um, I hope they do release these in three-tone, but other than that, I wouldn't change a thing. I think they're perfect. Um, I'm happy that they don't look identical to the other bottoms. They stand out more. They're, they're more unique. So, great idea, well done Virtue, put that aside. Next we have this. This was the other big release at the Virtue tent at World Cup. This is the Stealth Visor. The Stealth Visor retailed for 20 bucks, I believe it was. These come in two-tone two -tone color, colorways, whatever you want. Uh, the main color and they have these little 
almost like scallops in here, and the, the Virtue logo will come in a different color. Um, they are two different materials in here, very similar to the bottoms. Uh, the mounting posts that go in the slots at the top are similar to the plastic used across the top of the bottoms. The rest of it is very similar to the bottoms of these. It's very soft. It's very malleable. It's, it's really nice. Um, the visor on the underside of it actually has a cutout in it and two like mounting posts through it so you can mount the stealth fan. Check that out. It fits in there perfectly. Look at it. No wasted space. It's pushed literally right against the visor and the, the frame of the mask. Uh, the fan comes with two small pieces of hardware that screw directly to the visor, not to the mask itself. Uh, you need the visor to use the fan. Um, it's a good and a bad thing. Um, I mean, I can't imagine a time where I would have the fan and not the visor. So, I mean, it works. It, it does protect the fan. The fan retails for 30 bucks, I believe it was. Um, the fan itself is pretty cool. It has an auto shut off feature. It, the fan is only on while you're moving. As soon as you stop moving, the fan turns off. Um, it's, it's a good and a bad idea. Uh, I, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with that idea. Um, it's nice because when you're not moving, it's nice to hear what your opponent is doing and what your teammates are doing. So to not listen to that fan buzzing while you're not moving, is, it's kind of a nice thing. But the other thing about that, the only time you really need a fan is when you're not moving. When you're running around and moving and getting fresh air through the mask, you're not going to fog up. The only time you really ever fog up is when you're not moving. When you're bunkered in and not really moving your head around, just listening, your, your mask will start to fog up. That's when you need the fan. So I'm, I'm hoping in the future they don't remove the auto off, but maybe add a three-way switch. There's, there's the switch dead in the center. Of it, check that out. Um, I hope they add like a three-way switch, so it's either always on or auto on off. I think that would be great. Um, but for their first stab at it, I think it's a great idea. It takes two AAA batteries. Uh, there is no battery door. It, it mounts the, the batteries fill in on the end that rests against the frame of the mask. It, there is no wiggle room. They're not going to pop out. Um, because of the posts in the visor and the hardware that mounts it to the visor itself, um, they're not going to go anywhere. There is no wiggle room, there is no vibration. It's, it's really slick. They advertise the fan as five times quieter than a whisper. I, I don't have bionic ears, I can't um, verify that, but it is very quiet. It's probably the quietest fan I've ever used. And I've used quite a few different fans. I used both JT fans. I used the Envision fan for the i3. I used the Turbine fan for the Axis series masks and the Switch. I've, I've, I've used quite a few fans. This one is the quietest one I've ever used. Um, the fan itself is reversible as it stands right now, right, like, right out of the package. It's set up to pull hot air out of the mask. You can flip that, the actual fan over, not, not the whole housing over, but the fan within the housing, you can flip that over and have it pull new air into the mask. I like the way it's set up now. I'm going to keep it that way. Um, with the batteries installed, the damn thing only weighs 1.6 ounces. Total with the visor itself, I'm probably going to put it around three, three and a half ounces maybe four tops. Um, it doesn't add a ton of weight to the mask at all. It is very well balanced. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like on here. On my, my dome. Come on, some head gear. Pokey. All right. 
right, here it is. Uh, you can tell right away that's going to reduce a lot of glare that I'm catching on the inside of the frame, especially the white frames. Um, I can see the visor looking through it. It's not distracting at all. Uh, it definitely adds maybe an inch, inch and a half of shade on the front of the mask. I don't feel the weight difference while it's on. Uh, I'll turn the fan off. It's ridiculously quiet. Here, I'll hold it up. Pull up to the microphone on here. I truly doubt you can hear it, but it is on. It's very, very quiet. I'll move it around. No. It's the quietest fan I've ever used by far. Um, so for the fan and visor combo, you're looking at 50 bucks. Again, the, these come in two-tone uh, and single-tone, obviously. Um, I can't wait to try it out this weekend. Again, this isn't a review video. This is just introduction to new products. So you can expect a real review from me very soon. Um, overall, I was very, very impressed with Virtues 10 at World Cup. Everybody there was super friendly, super knowledgeable, very accommodating. Um, just a really personal group of guys who would happily do business with them again. No doubt in my mind. Just really, really genuine nice guys. Uh, I had a great time. I can't wait to try this new stuff out. It's going to be awesome. And uh, please like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. And I'll catch you later. Guys, thank you very much. Okay.